Hey guys, I'm Master here. Today I'm going to be showing you everything that you need to do to get your iWeb website up and running. Okay, before we do anything in iWeb, I'm going to show you a couple of free programs that you can use that will help you get your site up and running um, quicker. First thing we need to do is open up Safari. Then you're going to come to this website www.plixim.com P-L-Y-X-I-M dot com Once there, we're going to click this icon that next to Easy iWeb Publisher. Click it again, here. And it'll bring you to a Mac update site, and you can just click Download Now. Okay, I've already downloaded. Next, the next um, program that we need to download is a program called iTweak. This is basically a utilities program for iWeb. It can help you do a lot of very cool things. I highly recommend downloading this ASAP. So you just click download and it'll start the download. And once you have those two programs, we are ready to begin our iWeb upload. So, to do that, we open iWeb, go to File, Publish to a Folder. A web, uh, a menu like this comes up, and you basically selecting a place where you want all of your iWeb files to be stored. So once you've picked a place, you'll click choose. Don't worry about this dialog box right here. We'll come back to that later. Hit replace if you've already done this. And then it'll start loading it into that folder. Once you've done that, I'm just going to hit cancel. Once you've done that, we have to find a place to upload it. What this is called is a web host. What they do is they give us somewhere to put our site onto the internet. The free web host that I use is called Is Free. I really like it. Um, it works well. I haven't had any problems with it that have not been resolved. So this is the one I suggest. You can Google it. You'll come up with millions of results. Um, but here's what I use. S sign up. Use it. It's great. Um, okay. So once you've found your web host, you can open up um, Easy Iowa Publisher. And a window like this comes up. All of this will be blank. So, first, for a configuration name, you can enter whatever you want here. I'll put um, the name of my web host. Upload website to. This is simply um, the address of the website that you're uploading to. Make sure that your web host supports FTP upload. Um, that's very important for Easy iWeb Publisher to work. So for me, it's isfree.com, FTTP isfree.com. Folder to publish to. This is usually public HTML. Um, double check that. It's the root folder is another name for it. For website username, this is the username that you use to sign up onto the site. Mine is iMasterWeb, and your website password, um, pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Then what you do is you come to Easy Web Publisher, and you check your configuration. Okay. This will take a while, so just make sure you get it right, and if you don't um, contact me, um, I have my email address on my website. 
Okay, so once you've got your configuration all checked out, you've uploaded it to your web host provider and you're all set to go. You can, your, your website's on the internet. The next thing you want to do, um, this is optional but I suggest it, is get a domain name. This is something that is easier to remember than your website dot your web dot com it'll just be your website dot whatever not necessarily com um, you can register them there's many places you know GoDaddy I use I used this place SSL Catacomb Networking um, I, I got a dot net because the dot com that I wanted was unavailable Dot nets are usually cheaper unless they they're having a dot com sale. Um, dot com is the most expensive, but it's also it'll be dot com will be easier to remember because people just associate websites with dot com. So once you've got that, you're going to come into your web host. Just sign in. It remembers me. And you'll come into some kind of control panel like this. Then find something that says like domain setup. Click on that. And you can you have this add another domain or change a domain name. Um default is your website dot your web host dot whatever dot com probably but you can change it to use your own domain that you just bought that's what I did and that's how my website is imasterweb dot net instead of imasterweb dot is free dot com okay so you're basically all ready to go but in order to get traffic on your site you're going to have to show up on Google to show up on Google, you first have to um, get a Google account. Um, basically, all that this involves is getting a Gmail um, mail account, mail address. So once you have it, just sign in to Google Webmasters and then add, add a site. By doing what you do is you just type in your URL no you don't have to put HTTP or any of that just your URL mine's already here so I'm gonna click on it all right here I have some HTTP errors it'll first scan your site then it'll tell you if any errors but before any of that happens you have to verify your site to do that you'll get a page that looks like this this was my first website you have to verify your site to do that click verify your site and select the verification uh, method I would suggest uploading an HTML file um, that's what I used I'm just going to show you briefly how to do that you'll get this code so what you do is you copy command C then opened up open up your basic text editor um, file save as don't even write anything on it command V or paste save it to the folder you published your iWeb website to if you haven't done that if you haven't done that yet do that and save it as an HTML right here then just save and it'll save it to your published website folder once you do that you upload your site click verify and it'll be good to go so once you've done all that Googlebot will crawl your site and you'll be good to go um, that's about it um, tell me if you have any questions thanks for watching bye